Hi guys, um, welcome to my show and welcome to my room. Pagpasensya niyo na yung kwarto ko. Um, sinadya ako talaga na hindi gumamit ng HD camera kasi hindi ako masyadong comfortable sa paggamit ng camera. Lalo na pa mag-isa ako and lalo na kapag gumagawa ako ng mga sarili kong videos na ganito. Uh, I find it very awkward so uh, just please bear with the quality of my laptop camera. So we have this project in school uh, where we have to make a video and um, yung video na yon, ang theme niya should be what problem am I going to be a solution for? Um, actually, wala naman akong naisip na problem talaga. Talagang wala akong maisip kasi uh, hindi naman ako marunong magayos ng buhok or hindi naman ako marunong sumayaw, uh, hindi rin naman ako mar marunong magluto. So, uh, wala naman akong maipapakita sa inyong tutorial videos na manggagaling sa akin. So, so ang naisip ko na lang gawin is uh, just to remind all my viewers uh, that kapag may problema sila, kahit ano pang problema, uh, there is someone who is always there to guide you and ready to be with you as you face these problems. So, um, this video is not technical to teach you, but I hope that somehow uh, this video will help you remember and uh, will inspire you to face the problems you have in your life right now. Uh, I'm going to share my opinions throughout this video, and uh, and I hope that uh, I won't be offending anybody. Um, speaking of that someone that I mentioned at the start of this video, um, ang tinatukoy ko ay si Jesus. So, ang unang, mayroon akong unang question sa inyo. Uh, sino ba si Jesus sa buhay mo? Uh, for me, para sa akin, si Jesus ang Lord and Savior ko. Nung tinanggap ko si Jesus as my Lord and Savior, uh, I have this vision sa sarili ko. As in that moment, na nandun ako sa pinaka-dark na cave. And uh, dun sa, sa pinaka-loob ng cave na yun, uh, pumasok si Jesus. Tapos, uh, madumi ako, paksaan ako, kahit napakalabin dun sa cave na yun. Nagawa niya akong makuha ulit. He saved me. Tinanggap niya ulit ako. So, uh, nung time na yun, doon ko naramdaman talaga yung uh, unconditional love na tinatawag. Um, aminado ako na kapag masaya ako sa buhay ko, uh, wala akong masyadong problema, uh, hindi ko masyadong naiisip si Jesus or uh, masyado akong nag enjoy uh, marami akong masyadong iniisip na bagay or kapag kahit hindi masyadong nag-enjoy or kahit kapag super busy ako sa school uh, mas inuuna ko pa yung mga assignments ko or yung mga iba kong friends kaysa sa kanya so uh, kasi syempre sa takbo ng buhay natin ganun talaga tayo uh, kapag nasa comfort zone tayo ng buhay natin we tend to forget uh, we tend to forget the people who help us um uh, kung saan tayo nang galing, and uh, syempre, yung God natin, who is a great provider, nakalimutan natin minsan na, siya, na kung di dahil sa Kanya, wala yung mga bagay na meron tayo ngayon. Pero, ang galing ni Lord, uh, siya yung pinakamartin sa lahat. Kung meron mang, uh, kung meron mang someone sa universe na may pinakamalalim na hugot, siya yun. Siya lang yung may karapatan for me. Kasi, ah, uh, Para niya tayong girlfriend or boyfriend na sarili na sarili tayong binibigay lahat sa atin ng jowa natin. Parang lahat ng pangsine, lahat ng pangmakdo, lahat ng pamasahe, papunta sa mall. Uh, siya lahat yung gumagastos. Uh, for me, uh, yung sacrifice na ginawa ng Lord, yun yung, yung in-offer niya sa atin is yung kaligtasan. Uh, parang ganun din yun. Uh, tayo kasi biglang Christian feeling natin dahil save na tayo dahil dahil sa love ni Lord uh, akala natin tapos na lahat doon feeling natin dahil save na tayo parang lahat ng gusto natin gawin pwede na natin gawin pero hindi 
uh, simula pa lang yun laban natin as Christians. Um, question number two. Uh, bakit tingin mo may problema ka? Tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, masyado kasi tayo nag enjoy dun sa comfort zones natin eh. Uh, kaya tayo may problema kasi tingin ko ah, kaya tayo may problema kasi ayaw ni Lord na makalimutan natin siya. Ayaw ni Lord na maka- makalimutan siya. Kapag nagkakaproblema tayo sa Kanya, kapag uh, nagkakaproblema tayo, sa Kanya tayo lumalapit. Kapag lumalapit tayo sa Kanya, pray tayo, you know, pray, and through that, lumalakas yung faith natin. Uh, masalo tayong kumakapit kay Lord na may threat kasi kailangan natin siya sa buhay natin. Tama ba? Ang sabi ni Chuck Swindle dun sa book niya, si Chuck Swindle, isa siyang Christian writer, sabi niya dun sa book niya na One Step Backward, Two Steps Back. Every problem is an opportunity to prove God's power. Every day, we encounter countless golden opportunities, brilliantly disguised as impossible problems. I have a short story to tell you guys. Um, it's about a person who will, uh, who might never sing, might never sing again. It's a song singer, but through it all, uh, he still praised God. So, uh, Louis Albert Banks tells tells of an order, elderly Christian man, a fine singer, who learned that he had cancer of the tongue, and that surgery was required. In the hospital, after everything was ready for the operation, the man said to the doctor, Are you sure I will never sing again? The surgeon found it difficult to answer his question. He simply shook his head, No. The patient then asked if he could sit up for a moment. I've had many good times singing the praises of God, he said. And now you tell me I can never sing again. I have one song that will be my last. It will be of gratitude and praise to God. There in the doctor's presence, the man sang softly the words of Isaac Watts' hymn. Ang sabi ng lyrics, I'll praise my maker while I, I have breath. And when my voice is lost in death, praise shall employ the nobler power. My days of praise shall never be past. While life and thought and being last, or immortality endures. Hindi kinalimutan nung patient na yon na uh, kahit na meron siyang cancer, nandun pa rin yung faith niya and yung loyalty niya. Kahit nandun yung sadness na harapin niya sa future, alam niyang hindi na siya makanta ulit balang araw after that operation, he still praised God for his life. Ang sabi sa Philippians 4 verse 6, Do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. So, for my last question, tingin mo ba lahat ng problems may solution? For me, oo. Uh, lahat talaga may solution. Wala namang imposible, lalo na kay Lord. Sabi sa Matthew 19 verse 26, Jesus looked straight at them and said, There are some things that people cannot do, but God can do anything. Pero, minsan, we tend to question God why such things happen sa buhay natin. Bakit minsan we still fail? Bakit minsan kahit nag-aaral, nag-aaral na ako, or minsan nag-aaral na ako, lalala sa advert, minsan nag-aaral na ako sa advert, memorize ko lahat, lahat na kailangan i-memorize, pero, yun pala puro computation. Uh, sa Medos naman, dati nag, nagbasa ako, pero nung natawag ako, dun ako sa chapter na hindi ko naman nabasa. Or, uh, minsan naman, kabisado ko talaga siya. Pero, nung tinawag na ako, na mental block na ako, nung pagtayo ko, uh, meron talaga mga bagay na hindi may iwasan. Pero ang sabi sa James chapter 1 verse 2 to 4, Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. 
sometimes um, we, we face failure kasi uh, I think ah, we face failure kasi uh, para rin sa atin yun. Um, para sa inaharap, mas magiging malakas tayo. Siguro, nung prelims, bumagsak ka kasi hindi mo pa alam yung style ng teacher mo kung paano siya magpa-exam. Or sa Mendoza naman, uh, nung midterms, parati ka na nagre-recite kasi uh, lalo ka na motivate or mas mas sanay ka na mag-recite unlike nung prelims. Um, and dahil doon, matas na yung grade mo, <clears throat> hindi ka na naman mental duck. Minsan naman, uh, minsan talagang nabibigo tayo ng sobra-sobra sa ibang bagay kasi uh, I think uh, si Lord meron siyang gustong baguhin sa buhay natin. Uh, meron siyang bad attitude or bad behavior sa life natin na gusto niyang tanggalin. Um, merong isang story between a doctor and a patient. Uh, the doctor said to the patient, I have bad news and worse news. So let's have it, the patient replied. The bad news is that you only have 24 hours to live. And then nag-react yung, doc, yung patient. Ang sabi ng patient, I can't imagine what could be worse than that. Tapos bigyan reply ng doctor, I forgot to tell you yesterday. Um, we experience troubles or problems because God wants us to be a testimony of His power, uh, of His faithfulness, and His love. Um, kaya ako nasabing, uh, yung buhay natin magiging asimony kasi uh, para sa akin ang ang tao mas mas maniniwala siya sa iyo kapag nakita niyang maganda yung lifestyle mo eh, kapag nakita niyang maayos yung buhay mo and dahil yun kay God uh, sa, bu- sa sa pamumuhay mo uh, for me mas napapakita mo kung kasi nandun yung result eh, so mas napapakita mo kung gano ka faithful yung Panginoon sa iyo uh, kung gano'n kakablessed. Kasi, uh, may pinangahawakan ka, may kiniklaim kang word ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. So, um, ang sabi sa 1 John, chapter 5, verse 4, uh, For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world. And yun yung faith natin. Um, Sana, uh, uh, through this uh, short na video na ginawa ko, uh, hindi man ako naging solusyon sa specific problem. Pero, sana, uh, through this video, uh, na-remind ko kayo na there is a God na kapag may problem tayo, sa kanya tayo pupunta. And uh, lahat ng sorrows natin, sa kanya natin itataas. And uh, through good times and bad times, sa kanya pa rin tayo pupunta. Hindi importante yung, uh, hindi dapat yung uh, happiness lang. Pwedeng-pwede mo sa kanyang, uh, pwedeng-pwede mo sa kanyang i-lift up yung mga problems mo. Kasi, um, he can do everything. Uh, our faith can move mountains. And sana, uh, itong, video sa, itong video na ginawa ko, uh, sana yung, yung, yung foundation or yung uh, base ng, ng strength ninyo, sana, uh, mabisita nyo ulit. Mabisita nyo ulit. Or sana, uh, i-furnish nyo yung 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 foundation nyo para para as we go along the journey of our lives uh, mas malakas na tayo ulit 
ayun. So, thank you for watching my video. Uh, sana may nakuha kayo. Ayun po. Uh, God bless everybody. Thank you.